What is up guys? Welcome back. Today, let's find out which car is better. The Audi S5 or the BMW 335i. Let's get into it. What's there left to say? Throw your stones the river Like me it drifts away I would watch you stay. Let's start off with the exterior of both of these cars. I would watch you stare. Oh, but there's no one there. We can figure this out. Put your feet down. Now, the interiors of both of them. Now that we've seen how the exterior of both the cars look, let's talk about it a little bit. The Audi is finished in a white exterior with a black and red contrasting interior. It looks really good and it has the red soft top on it. The BMW is finished in a silver exterior with a black interior and a wood trim. Now in my humble opinion, the Audi, the Audi looks a lot better, I'm going to be honest. The BMW is a good looking car as well, but the Audi looks a lot more aggressive, it has a lot better wheels. The rear side of the Audi is equipped with quad exhaust as opposed to the double exhaust on the BMW. In front of the cars, the Audi has a white LEDs and this BMW is equipped with the yellow angel eye rings you can see. Now for the interiors of the cars. From the perspective of just aesthetics, I do prefer the Audi to the BMW. The Audi feels a lot better put together as well as the BMW. The BMW feels good. But the Audi's buttons and the way they just feel when you click them, it feels a lot more solid than the BMWs. The plastics in there feel of better quality, the leather feels of better quality as well, and it just feels better put together in general. And the BMW interiors, I feel they are a bit outdated now. Even in 2017, the newer models they're bringing out, they all look kind of similar to 10 years ago. The Audis, at least on the newer ones, they are refreshed and it does make a big difference. Space-wise on the interiors, the BMW is a bit more spacious than the Audi. Now the Audi is a cabriolet, but before this one, I had a convertible 335i. And the rear legroom in that car was way better than the Audi's. The boot was a bit bigger, and the general space in the interior cabin, it just feels more airy and spacious in the BMW. Now let's talk about some numbers of the cars. Starting off with the BMW. The BMW is equipped with the twin scroll turbocharged 3 litre inline 6. It produces 225 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque. Now we move on to the Audi. For 2010, it's been refreshed with a 3 litre supercharged V6. This produces 248 kilowatts and 440 newton meters of torque. Even though the Audi makes more power than the BMW and more torque as well, the BMW is a much better performer. It's rear wheel drive as opposed to the four wheel drive on the Audi, which makes it a little bit lighter, and the handling is way better as well. In my opinion, one of the most important things on a performance car is the way it sounds. So let's see how these two sound.
You can decide for yourself which one sounds better. That's enough talking, let's drive these guys. I'm starting off by driving the Audi S5. It does feel, actually, it feels really good. This one has the contrast red and black leather interior. You can get it in Alcantara as well, uh, which is also a sports seat. I haven't felt those, but these leather ones, they feel extremely, extremely comfortable. They support you well, and I like the adjustments of the seats, um, the positioning you can put the seat in. It's nice and low, nice and far back. It does feel really good. This car feels really small on the road. Other Audis I've driven, they feel a bit big and heavy on the road. Now, don't get me wrong, this car does feel heavy as well, but it doesn't feel extra big or extra jumbo sized. It feels really nice and it's easy to park with. It's got park distance control and all those nice goodies. But on the road, it's, it's a nice compact size. It's not intimidating at all. The S-Tronic gearbox. This car has one. It is a double clutch system from Audi and I'm not happy with it. It is jerky at low speeds, it's jerky at high speeds, especially when you like trying to test the car's performance, you put it in manual mode, you use the paddles mounted on the steering wheel. It's jerky, it's not smooth. They do change reasonably quick, but I'm not a fan of the gearbox at all. And actually in this car, I prefer manual. A manual would be so, so, so much better. Comparing this car to the BMW, this car, it's, it is a performance car from Audi. It is the S-Line. S-Line we know is a performance car. But I'd say it's more of a tourer compared to the BMW. The suspension is a lot softer. The ride is a lot softer and smoother. And the steering is not as direct. The throttle isn't as sharp. The BMW is more focused on being a driver's car. It's more aimed towards giving the driver feedback of the road and just being a really, really great handling car. This car handles well also, don't get me wrong, it handles well, but it's, compared to the BMW, I'd say it handles about 70% as well, which is quite a big difference. Now, the BMW. Stepping inside the BMW from the Audi, it immediately feels a lot more orientated towards the driver. The steering wheel is a lot fatter. The positioning of it, the positioning, positioning, the positioning of it is better. The way you put your thumbs to rest on the steering wheel, that's also a lot nicer. Let's give it a downshift and see how this gearbox goes. Yeah. That is just a tiny little bit better than the Audis. And it doesn't jerk. Yeah, that's, that's a nice gearbox. Being more orientated towards the driving experience, this car's suspension is a lot, lot harder than the Audis. The ride is a lot harder as well, and it doesn't soak up bumps, it bashes right through them and you feel it in your ass and your spine. The Audi is, it just soaks it and then you just carry on like nothing happened. Um, that is a good thing in town as well, because where we live, the roads are absolute rubbish. So this car is not fun to drive in town, let's just say that. I have to say though that the brakes in the BMW are a lot sharper than the Audis, so is the accelerator. And if you press sport mode in the BMW, it becomes even sharper than that. These two cars, let's sum them up. The BMW is more orientated towards the driving experience, taking corners faster, taking drag races faster. The Audi is more towards being a grand tourer, but a hell of a good one. Now one thing that I should note about the BMW over the Audi is that the BMW is a lot heavier on juice. I don't want to say figures because frankly it is embarrassing and I love my car too much to say that, but it is extremely, extremely heavy on fuel. Now the Audi is heavy as well, but not nowhere near this car. Again, stepping in to this car from the Audi, the interior does feel a bit cheaper, the plastics feel a bit cheaper, the wood does look nice, but overall, Audi's interior is better. Let's end it at that. Our day is over. 
we drove the BM, we drove the Audi. Let's discuss which one's the best. Let's start with the exterior and keep it short and simple. The winner, in my opinion, is the Audi S5. Next up, the interior. The winner, again, the Audi S5. Now performance. This one's quite tricky because the BMW and the Audi, they're quite similar cars, but they do perform reasonably differently. I'd have to say the winner for performance, handling, and overall driving experience has to go to the BMW. Now let's give both of these cars a score out of 10 overall exterior, interior performance, everything. Let's give them a score out of 10. Now in my humble opinion, both of these cars, I would give a 7. They are really excellent cars to drive, but they, each of them have their own fair disadvantages and a good amount of things that I don't like. Example on the BMWs, the main two things, let's say, the ride and suspension is extremely hard and the consumption is ridiculous. Now the Audi, the two things that I dislike about it is firstly, how heavy the car feels on the road. And secondly, on steering, it's really not very responsive or gives good feedback. Now it does extremely pain me to say this, but I have to give the winner of this car comparison to the Audi S5. I gave it the win because it's just a softer car to drive and I think on a longer distance or as over time you get used to the car you might get a bit tired of the hard ride and the hard suspension of the BMW not to mention the expense of fuel. So for those reasons the Audi S5 takes the win. If you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button please. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe.